Hi and welcome back to Cabin Creek Homestead. Today I am teaching my children how to muck out a stall. They didn't grow up doing this like I did, so this is the first for them. The first thing that we're gonna do is take our wheelbarrow and our shovels and willing, strong hands, go in there and we're gonna scrape. If you're joining us for the first time today, we have a Belgian mare who is a rescue. She was actually on her way to be sent to a slaughterhouse and we adopted her from a rescue organization called Last Chance Rescue. They are based out of Asheboro, North Carolina. We really, really appreciate all the volunteer work that they do. None of them get paid for what they do and we appreciate it. And now Pumpkin is home safe with us. Pumpkin was pretty neglected by her last owner, whoever it was, and so her feet are in crazy disrepair. They are very splayed out. Um, one of them is still dealing with the after effects of a um, infection, and so to take it easy on her hooves, we have put in rubber mats. So rubber mats are down here, and they are softening the um, the cushioning on her feet, and so it's really easy to muck out a stall if you have a concrete floor or if you have rubber mats like we do. Mommy, what like that? Ah, now they have filled up their first little wheelbarrow and I'm gonna show them where they're going. Okay, so now they have their first wagon load ready to go and dump and I'm actually dumping it in a really special spot where it can decompose and turn back into organic material that is going to benefit our garden. That's gonna be a whole other video how I turn a very wild and overgrown field into a raised row garden for rows and rows of crops. But for now, we're gonna go dump some poop. I'm gonna feed you to the goats. They don't eat me. I think the kids did a pretty good job. I'm gonna go in here and make sure I get the rest of it out. And then we're gonna put um, wood shavings in as an absorbent padding, uh, just to sweeten the deal and make her as comfortable as possible.
pumpkin salt with wood shavings. And there's a number of things that you can use from straw to paper shreds to even just leaving your rubber mats there. We have chosen to use wood shavings for a couple of reasons, and this is why it's my favorite. It is the most absorbent. And so um, she is a large horse. She has a large output and things get wet and nasty really, really quick. And so um, this is what's going to keep her feet the driest. There's a white dog running in that field. Hi, doggy! <laughs> All right, so that was today's video, just teaching my kids how to muck out a stall. Us being a homeschool family, um, our day looks really different than some other people, and we get to do things that maybe in a traditional school um, you would otherwise, they would otherwise not be exposed to. <gasps> there's two dogs in there now. I know, there's two dogs, there's two dogs. They're like identical. Wait. They're so sweet. We're gonna put her food in her stall and bring her back in and um so and fill her water trough up. Yes, fill her oh, water trough up. Not Pretty interesting for a homeschool day, huh? Mm. When I was in regular school, we did not muck out stalls. <laughs> you didn't muck out stalls in public school? No, and there weren't any horses or donkeys or goats. No animals. Or crazy parents? Actually, no. there's probably a lot of crazy parents. I know because I was one. There's none as crazy as you. You have that child that's just like you. Yeah, that's her. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Please subscribe if you haven't had a chance to yet. Our goal is to reach a thousand viewers um, in our first month. And I know that's a big goal and we're probably a little bit crazy for it. But we're going to try it anyway. A little Bye, crazy.